Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Since President Biden took office, we have seen a tremendous surge in the terrorist watch list arrests at the southern border. There were two terrorist watch list arrests in fiscal year 2017, six in 2018, zero in 2019, three in 2020. In 2021, President Biden's first year in office, terror watch list arrests surged to 15. In 2022, there were 98 terrorists arrested at the southern border. In this fiscal year so far, there have been 38 arrests. According to Border Patrol, there have been approximately 1.2 million known gotaways since President Biden took office. In November alone, 73,000 border crossers evaded overwhelmed Border Patrol agents but were detected by other forms of surveillance. These crossers are known as gotaways. Often these border crossers are evading being caught by Border Patrol because they have a criminal record or contraband to hide, unlike most migrants who cross with the explicit intention to meet Border Patrol. But today I want to ask about other sinister news in the immigration space. I have a copy here of an email circulated last Thursday, January 26th, at Mount Pleasant High School in Rhode Island. Its assistant principal, Stephanie Harvey, someone with a doctorate in education, is fundraising among its faculty and staff to pay a debt to a cartel that trafficked a student. The email calling it an urgent matter reads, we have a student who came to America with a coyote, with, with coyote which is a group that helps people. This group gives you a time frame to make a payment of $5,000 to those who bring them into the states. Our student needs our urgent support to raise another $2,000 to meet his goal of $5,000 by February 1st, 2023. Sheriff, is this helpful? Is that, I'm sorry, sir. Is this helpful to have faculty raising money to pay a Mexican cartel to bring someone into the country? Congressman, no. Okay. The, the ranking member uh, said that many of President uh, Trump's policies have been continued. Um, is the fence continuing to be built on the southern border? No. Is the remain in Mexico policy being continued? No. Is the agreement with the Northern Triangle countries to immediately deport illegal immigrants who come into this country, has that policy been continued? No. Sheriff, let me ask you something. Um, we now have in this country two million individuals who have gone through the entire process and have been adjudicated for removal. In other words, they came to this country, they applied for asylum, they weren't entitled to asylum, uh, they came here for economic reasons. Um, so they went through, they had due process, they have been adjudicated, they have been ordered, removed, and the President of the United States has instructed ICE not to seek those individuals and remove them from the country. Two million. What's the impact of an order like that in terms of welcoming people who are coming to this country for all the wrong reasons? Well, Congressman, that's one of the things that has changed with the two administrations that I've seen is uh, the former president had a very strong message. When you say former president, President Trump? Yes, sir. That if you come to the country, you break our laws, there's consequences. Under the current one, that's not being, uh, the rule of law is not being fulfilled. Okay, and, and, and I guess just to, to uh, uh, further that a, a little bit, um, the impact on individuals that are considering coming to this country, when they know if they come to this country, there's going to be a consequence, a negative consequence for them, or, um, and I'm not even talking about a welcome mat. We welcome immigrants to this country. We welcome people who want to go through the process the right way, who want legal immigration. But when they know that they're coming to this country and there is no consequence to come to this country illegally, and even when they lose in court and they uh, are, re are ordered removed, the United States won't remove them under this administration, and there is this hope for an amnesty program to go through Congress or informally, as President Obama did, and this president will probably do the same thing, uh, issue an executive order with the stroke of a pen to give people uh, amnesty. What, what is the impact on, a, on people being attracted to this country for all the wrong reasons? Well, Congressman, there's a couple. Number one is they keep coming. And we're seeing that on the border. Number two, it's a fracture of our rule of law. The oath that I take, you all take and share it. 
And last but not least is it's an insult to all law enforcement, state, local, and federal, trying to do our best to secure this border. Thank you. I yield back. Thank the gentleman.